facilitate for this light heavyweight battle. Hendo, 41 years old. Shogun is 29. Shogun will have a two-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Section five, the California State Athletic Commission, the chairman, John Clarison, Executive Officer, George Todd, and Commissioner in Attendance, Mike Munoz. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side R. Steve Morrow, Susan Thomas Glyton, and Ralph McKnight. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Josh Rosenthal. And now, from the HP Pavilion in San Jose, California, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a big martial artist, holding professional record, 28 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 203 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former Pride welterweight and middleweight champion and the former Strike Force light heavyweight champion, Dan Hendo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record, 20 wins, 5 losses, he stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, All right, gentlemen, we've been over the instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all times. Defend yourselves all times. Touch gloves, go back, and let's do this. Shogun. And Hendo. Non-title fight, but scheduled for five. Five-minute so, rounds. You ready? You ready? Let's fight. And here we go. Henderson in the long white trunks. The bad boy trunks for Hua. That right hand is always ready to go. Cocked and in position to finish the fight, Dan Henderson. I think one of the keys to this fight for Shogun will be the... Oh! Shogun takes Henderson down. Henderson. Henderson's got a guillotine. He's got, and he's a front got choke. incredible strength, Joe. Can he choke him out? Can he get him from this position? He's got a front choke and he hit him with a knee and a big oh, punch. Big shots. Shogun's in Shogun's big trouble. Shogun's covering up. He's standing right in front of him. Henderson. Shogun is a bloody mess already. Henderson off to a great start. Shogun's bloody, but his eyes are clear, Mike. Watch for the right hand again. Oh! Big shots by Hendo. Shogun desperately trying to get this fight to the ground. Who would have ever thought that would be the case? I was just thinking the same thing. Henderson. 41 years old. Henderson's got double underhooks and he throws Shogun to the ground. And, and he just lights him up. Wow. Are we really seeing the best Dan Henderson here in the last few years? Nice knee. Sometimes all the stars just align with your training and 
your nutrition and your life. And Henderson coming off the big one with Fedor, now looking to take out Shogun for a triumphant return to the octagon. And off to a good start. What I was beginning to say before that first barrage happened was that I think that one of the keys to victory for Shogun will be attacking the legs of Dan Henderson, trying to take away some of the explosion out of his thighs and utilizing all the techniques of Muay Thai. Dan particularly throws inside leg kicks and ruthless right hands. That's a combination that he favors, whereas Shogun will throw knees, elbows, everything. There's the right hand. followed with the left. Just over 90 seconds on the clock here in the first round. Good start for Henderson. Uppercut by Shogun. Shogun finding his range. Got a shot in on Henderson and he's looking for some ground Henderson's and Henderson's holding on to a single but he's getting tagged. Henderson's going to try to get this takedown now. Shogun back to his feet and eats a right hand. A big right hand. Henderson handled that barrage of punches very methodically. Shogun with the uppercut. Shogun's looking for that uppercut over and over again, Mike. He sees something in the stance of Dan Henderson. Dan tends to crouch forward. He gets real low. Nice right hand by Dan. Pushing forward is Shogun now. Nice knee by Henderson. Under 30 seconds on the clock here in the first. That Greco-Roman background of Dan Henderson makes him so good in positions like this where they clinch. Great upper body control. Shogun's got to use this opportunity to try to knee those legs. Round one in the book. Right around. You gotta get out of there. Yeah. Just throw that right hand. You gotta get out of there. Keep kicking his legs. One shoot is just pen. One shoot is just pen. Get out of this cross. Escuta eu por favor. Don't keep right there. You gotta listen. Gira pra direita, por favor. Gira pra direita. Here we see the Dan Henderson right hand coming in. Right hand. And here we see the Dan Henderson right hand that hurt Shogun. Really had him wobbled. And here Dan tries a front choke. Can't get that. Goes for a knee. And a couple vicious punches. Some of them that got through the guard. And there's a, a shot to the body by Shogun. And a right hand that caught Dan behind the head. More of a, a, a thing that threw him off balance than anything. Round two. The more Shogun can turn this into a technical striking battle instead of a wild, crazy slugfest, the better he comes out. Dan has an incredible chin and ruthless power, but Mauricio is the more technically sound and diverse striker. And a very vicious kicker. It's Henderson with the jab as Dan was on his way in. Wings, ducked under, and the knee. Again, they work in the clinch. 28 career wins for Henderson. 20 career wins for Shogun.
Shogun, one of eight Brazilians in UFC history to hold a UFC belt. The most recent, Junior Dos Santos. Big right hand, uppercut. Huge uppercut. And a big left hook as to well. To the body. And Shogun countered with a nice left hook there. But Henderson definitely with the bigger shots. Shogun trying to utilize some movement to try to get into that technical matchup that you talked about before, Joe. He's also trying to get away from the cage. Henderson trying to set up the right hand. The shots that Henderson has landed have really slowed the pace of Shogun's attack. Yeah, his, his punches seem to be a little bit, a little labored, a little slower yes. than you normal. And I think a lot of that can be attributed to what Henderson has been able to land thus far. Yeah, unquestionable. But he's There's, still yep. plowing forward. A as he always does. I mean, both of these men have been in the deep waters before. Yeah, and it's interesting with this pace. This is a five-round yeah, fight. Yeah. Dana White making that change, making main events on frequent occasion, even a non-title fight, a five-round fight. Tonight is one of those. Munoz and Lieben was the first one. And the wrestler was the winner that night. A deep breath taken by both men. But I was just about to say, I'm surprised Dan's not working his legs with some knees. And he just threw the one. Fence, Dan. Hands out the fence, There's Dan. There's a few. I think both men are conscious of this, this being a five-round fight. Just over a minute on the clock here in the second. And that's exactly the case. Is they, they know they need to pace themselves. Because it was a frenetic pace in round one. Let's work, gentlemen. Alright, clean break, clean break. Anderson looks up at the clock. Just over 30 seconds remaining here in the second of a potential five five-minute round. Good right hand from Shogun. Swings there, oh, throws the right in front of again. each other, Mike. Yeah. Great slip and rip a moment ago by Henderson. Both men are trying to set up that one punch or one kick knockout. Final seconds of the round. Dan, Dan, he's dead. He's dead. Ice, ice, please, ice. No, not in my hands. Right here, right here. Dan, realize this. He's dead. He's dead. Use your jab. Keep thinking. Put him back. Put him back in the cage. There we see Dan come in with a left hand, and there's a nice right hand on the jaw. And here's an uppercut behind it. Right 
Round three set to begin. Mariani can't wait to get back in her seat. Sold out HP Gentlemen, Pavilion. Let's go. <laughs> Josh Rosenthal said last round, and Dan goes, no, three more. <laughs> Maybe. Henderson's corner seemed very confident that Shogun was out of gas. He looked it at the end of that round. He definitely looked tired. And that has been a problem with Shogun in the past. It was a problem with his debut in the UFC against Forrest Griffin. Yep. It was a problem with his fight with Mark Coleman. He has had stamina issues. Right in front of our broadcast position. Uppercut by Henderson. But he got wobbled. Henderson's measure from that oh, punch. Nice kick. He took a kick to the body. Shogun tried to take Henderson down. And Henderson actually went for the single. Over right back to the feet. It's amazing, Joe, that this fight never happened before. A man so far well worth the wait. Off the shoulder of Henderson that time. I think this is the perfect time for this fight. I really do. It's in the perfect place, that's for sure. Oh! oh big right hand! Trying to finish it right here! He's hurt! He's big hurt. shots! Henderson looking to finish the fight! Shogun's covering up, and he's hurt back! Shogun has his, his hands clasped together. That will save him a little time. And he's going to try to sweep Dan. What a warrior Shogun is. He's going to attack a leg. Henderson's got to be careful. Dan, he needs to get further in to get the heel hook, though. He needs to get closer. He needs to get his thigh closer to Dan's hips, because right now it's not in the right position. Henderson's out, and both men are back up. Wow. Unbelievable. The Shogun's face is a bloody mess, Mike. It's swollen, his left eye is swollen, and he's hurt badly. He's just hanging on here right now. Both of them. Both men exhausted. But no question about it, Dan Henderson has done the most damage. Work, gentlemen. By a long shot. But it's this warrior spirit, it's this heart, it's this courage, the determination that have made both of these men two of the most successful fighters in mixed martial arts history. The fact that Shogun is still battling here in the third round. Hand out of the cage, Shogun. Big, deep breaths from Henderson. Dan was so close to finishing that fight. But a nice job done by Josh Rosenthal to not stop it. One minute. Oh, vicious elbows by Dan. And Shogun has Dan down. And now Shogun. Pouring it on Henderson. He's got his back. 45 seconds on the clock. Here in round three. <laughs> Maybe Henderson was right when he told Rosenthal three more are going to be left. 20 seconds on the clock here in the third. Oh, 
Good shot by Shogun. Final seconds of the third round. A huge cut over the left eye of Shogun. You can see it, Mike. How good is this? Five. 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 And here you see, here you see Shogun try to attempt a heel hook, but he does not have it high enough. Not his legs not close enough to the hips to really get control. And here, Dan slamming some elbows in here. Shogun gets a, a takedown and lands a couple good left hands here to Dan. Is that really what they ask him? What's your name? Does anybody ever forget that? You might forget where you are, but I doubt you forget your name. If you do, they should stop the fight. I agree with that. Shogun's left eye is a mess, Mike. But what a warrior, both these guys. Non-title fight, but scheduled for five five-minute rounds, round four. Looking Look at for that. the single. Shogun with the takedown. Shogun, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt after only four years. But Dan's gonna get his back now. Shogun's gotta be careful. Shogun is trying to get, oh, look at that, Dan got him in a crucifix. Great position for Henderson. Looking for He's the choke. It. He's got the choke, but Shogun rolled into the choke. Dan mounted up, Shogun's gonna go for a leg lock again, he can't get it. And Henderson's out. What a fight. Unbelievable, one of the best of all time, between two of the best of all time. Shogun landed the uppercut. Takedown. Takedown. Into side control. Shogun's trying to hip escape a bit to get his right knee under. There he goes. He's got his right knee in place. Dan wisely scoots his hips out. Corrects. Now Shogun has got half guard. He will go under. He will go under for the sweep. He goes under with his right arm. And while he's doing that, Dan is trying to one-arm guillotine him. Shogun has to be careful here. Dan has a, a, a wicked grip. Shogun is in trouble here. Yep, Henderson. His arm is trapped. Yep, Henderson, now, now he lost it. He lost it, but Shogun lost the sweep as well because he lost the underhook on Dan's left leg. Now Shogun goes to full guard. But feet on the hips. Round four of our main event. Henderson staying heavy on Shogun. Right hand. Dan's got to look out for the up kick. Big right hand by Dan. Oh! Knees to the body. Past the midway point of the fourth. And Shogun's up, and he falls down again. Watch for the right hand of Dan Henderson right here, right now. This is why mixed martial arts is the fastest growing sport in the world. Uppercut Shogun. Yeah, Shogun is looking to counter that right hand, keeping his guard up high, and sneak that uppercut through. Dan's taking big deep breaths now, Mike. And Dan's really shaking that hand out. He might have done some damage to it, Joe. Well, he broke it when he knocked out Vanderlei Silva. He has hurt it in the past. Yeah, and it, he's not quite, there it's back in the pocket. 
But he's not firing it like he was earlier. Big shot by Shogun! Dan's in trouble! And he wants the takedown. Goes into that autopilot mode of Shogun's a wrestler. Shogun's got out, he hit him with a shot! Oh! Henderson came right back with the stutter step. Shogun starting to get the momentum. Dan is exhausted, Mike. Look at him. Shogun with under 45 Good seconds left, left in the floor. Takes out. Shogun with the takedown. And Dan just took a huge deep breath. 30 seconds. Awesome. Full mount for Shogun. Shogun trying to finish it here. Henderson looking to survive. Shogun's got his back. He's got time to work. He lost it. What a fight. Ten what? seconds left in the fourth. What a fight. We may very well be witnessing the greatest fight in <laughs> UFC history. <laughs> Man, and here he Henderson gets rocked with a big uppercut. Look at his knees he go. Won this. He won this. Do you then want he this, catches man? Shogun. Shogun returns. This? Look at me. Look at me. Do you want this? Let's go. Let's go. So one more round. Look him up there. Shogun here with the takedown and then into full mount. Hey, one more round. Clinch this motherfucker. Come on. You clinch him. Control this guy. Control him. No exchange with him. Let's win this round. That's very tough, man. This is what champions are made of. This is the last round. Interesting. They're telling Dan to clinch with him and not exchange with him. What a good move it is, turning this into a five-round fight. Dan Henderson is still hurt, Mike. Coming to the last round. Let's fight. Fifth and final round. But he's got to get Dan away from the cage. Dan can use his feet right now to explode off the cage. 41-year-old Dan Henderson. Nice knee to the body by Shogun. Against 29-year-old Mauricio Shogun Hua. Fifth and final round. Hendo almost had it finished earlier. Shogun. Full out again. Full mount on Henderson. I think Shogun just spit his mouthpiece out. Either that or Dan did. Henderson was able to reverse earlier. Shogun has got to get ahead and arm and scoot forward. Get Dan away from that cage. Grab a grip on his arm and scoot him forward. Look at Shogun. Henderson trying to protect himself. Trying to get out of this position. Shogun's trying to maintain the mount. He lost it. But he's in half guard now. This is just true heart. It's a wide open half guard. Shogun wants to get his right leg free. He can. Trying to pull it through, Joe. Trying to push down with that left foot and get that right leg free. Henderson holding on, controlling posture. Under yeah. three minutes left in the play. He, he's more held in place by exhaustion than anything, and now he gets the full mount again. Henderson 
Trying to work his way up. Hammer fist, he's got his back. He's got him flattened out. He's gonna go for an arm triangle here. He's got the right arm trapped. Dan's trying to defend with his left. But if Shogun can slide that right arm all the way through, he's got the choke. He's got it right there. Big hammer fist. He might not have enough strength to pull off that choke. He might want to just maintain the position. And Dan, good hip escape by Dan. He got to half guard again. Nope, full mount one more time. Just over two now. Back of the head, Demarcio, back of the head. This classic matchup that we've waited a lifetime for. Big shot by Shogun. Has turned into one of the greatest fights in mixed martial arts history. Under two Watch on the clock. The head, Again, Shogun trying to get that right leg free, and he does. Full mount one more time. Dan Henderson is absolutely exhausted. Here comes the elbows. 90 seconds, Joe. Man, if it goes the distance, what a tough job our judges are going to have. Well, this is a big round. This has got to be a 10-8 round for Shogun. But then again, there's got to be at least one round that was a 10-8 round for, for Dan. Yep. Just over a minute remaining in this battle. I just don't know if Shogun has the energy to, ch to actually finish. He's trying, though. Now he's going after it. Hammer fist. Hendo trying to get out of this position. Dan Hip escaped. He got to half guard. Shogun's going to try to get that leg out again. You want to talk about leaving it all in the octagon. Dan Henderson and Mauricio Shogun, who are have entertained millions tonight. Mount again. Under 30 seconds remain. He's smothering Dan here. 15 seconds. Very hard for Dan to breathe here. Mauricio smothering him. Unbelievable fight. They go the distance. Oh, 25 minutes. Shogun and Hendo. Wow. What a fight. What a fight. Who won that fight? I have no idea. I don't even remember any of the rounds besides this one. <laughs> It was just too crazy. You were in the fight, man. Wow. No, put your hands up. No. Put your hands up. What you like going to do? Put your water. We won this fight, then. Dang, good job, man. We won the fight. Put your hands up. Good job. And here's the first. This is where Dan cracked Mauricio and had him in all sorts of trouble. And that's where Shogun caught Dan behind the head. Now, here's the second round. And that's the round where Dan really put it to Shogun and had him in all sorts of trouble. The third round again, Henderson with a big right hand. Huge punches on the ground. Mauricio goes for a heel hook, not quite in the proper position to get it, but uses it to get back to his feet. Now here Shogun takes Dan down. The fourth round, Shogun with a big uppercut. Had Dan in all sorts of trouble. Takes him down. And finally, the fifth and final round was really all Shogun. He got this takedown, scrambled, got the side control, got to mount several times, landed a lot of ground and pound, and Dan spent the majority of this round on his back defending himself. It was the fourth round where Mauricio Shogun Hua turned the tides and started to gain the momentum and get the better of Dan Henderson. What a great fight indeed. Henderson and Shogun, and with the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 48, 47. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, Dan Hendel Henderson. Henderson does enough early to earn the decision victory tonight.